I want to get you back to that breaking news that we're following right now out of South Sacramento. We know a shooting has left two people injured. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson is joining us now live with the very latest on what investigators are now saying. Karma. You know, two, two, two teenagers are injured after a shooting here in this South Sacramento neighborhood. We are right in the middle of not just a neighborhood, but just behind Florin High School. And we can see that there is a fence that butts up right up against this neighborhood here. And this is where it all played out, according to witnesses and law enforcement that we've talked to. We spoke to one man who said he heard the gunshots, came out to see uh, at least one young man with injuries. He tried to provide first aid until first responders came. He said he himself is a father of students here at Florin High School. So you can imagine uh, the terror he felt when he heard that there was a student who was shot. So at this point, we want to bring in the Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies who have been busy over these last several hours trying to understand what happened here and who's responsible. I want to introduce Captain Todd Henry. Thank you so much for uh, for being with us. I know that you all are busy. We can even see some of that going on in the background as you continue to try to talk to witnesses. What happened here? Uh, well, about 3.40 this afternoon, the sheriff's dispatch received a call of shots being fired, uh, essentially here in the intersection, not too far from the high school. Uh, and the initial reports were that two subjects, uh, potentially uh, juveniles, had been shot. Uh, upon arrival, uh, deputies did locate two individuals, uh, juveniles, who had what appear to be non-life-threatening injuries. Um, and obviously, based on how traumatic that event was for those uh, youths, uh, it was very difficult for them to give much information as to what occurred, so we're still following up on several different leads. What do we know about what led up to these two young men being shot? Not a lot of information right now on that. Obviously, we're working very close with the community, uh, neighbors in the area who may have seen something, and obviously if they did, we want them to report that as soon as possible to the sheriff's office. Uh, but we're also working with the high school, too, to see if there was an event uh, that maybe transpired on campus that they were unaware of uh, that may have been part of or related to this. Now, this happened later on during the day, but what, if any, effect did this have on school operations, a lockdown or anything like that? Uh, yeah, luckily this happened towards the end of the day, I guess, if there was anything positive about it. Uh, but um, a normal protocol is for an incident uh, to occur so close to the campus, there's always a recommendation that we give uh, for a lockdown uh, just till we get on scene to make sure that we have a, a stabilized the event to the best of our ability. And in terms of, and I, I know you're still trying to find out what led up to this and what this involved, but there is a sort of a fine line that uh, we unfortunately have to deal with as a society, uh, shootings that happen to happen at school or school shootings. And Sacramento County Sheriff's Office has been really monitoring the potential of both of those types of things, responding to threats, even if they have turned out not, in fact, to be credible. So uh, can you talk us, to us about whether or not this seems to have just happened here or whether or not there was an actual threat to the campus? Yeah, obviously, school violence is a huge priority for the sheriff's office, something we take very seriously. And we dedicate a lot of resources to ensure that we're, one, being as proactive as we possibly can through building those relationships with the schools and the community. Um, and this event, there was nothing that we had received or that the school had received that would have indicated it was going to occur. Uh, so based on the information we have, and again, we're still kind of developing this information, uh, it appears to have been a spontaneous act. Um, obviously, if we have information, we're always going to act on that as quickly as we possibly can to ensure the safety of the campus and the community. Captain Henry, thank you so much for being with us, and I appreciate you standing by. We know you all are very busy, and we will leave you to it. Um, have a good evening. So, guys, to recap, we do have two teenagers, at least one of them 17, injured after a shooting here in the South Sacramento neighborhood just adjacent to Florin High School. We're told that they were students. This did happen after school, and there does not appear to have been a threat to the school community. We can leave you with a look at law enforcement continuing to walk throughout this neighborhood, asking neighbors what they saw, what they heard, off camera, we did speak to a person who said he heard those gunshots and he responded was even actually uh, helping one of the young men who had been shot until first responders and ambulances could get out here uh, saying it was they were feeling pretty uh, shaken up about it. The good news to leave people with is just that those two young men who were shot are expected to survive and to be OK in terms of what led up to it. That still remains to be seen, but they do believe that it was a spontaneous appears to be at least at this point isolated uh, to this particular incident. They are looking for at least one person who's believed to pull the trigger reporting live from South Sacramento. I'm Carmen Dickerson, Fox 40 News.